everybody, what's happening? Andy Irvine coming to you from my crib one more time here in Colorado. Just got back from an amazing tour through China. It was a life-changing experience. I tell you, those people really welcomed me with open arms and it blew my mind. But um, today I'm going to play for you a little bit on my custom shop Warwick 12 string bass and just give you uh, kind of a look at some of the sounds that this thing's capable of. You know, a lot of people, they tend to um, somewhat scoff at a bass with this many strings on it. And, you know, I don't really look at it like that. You know, an instrument is an instrument, and they're all different, and they all have a different voice, and they all take me personally to different creative places. And I can tell you that having this instrument um, has been one of the best moves I ever made in my musical journey because it opened up uh, it opened up my mind and my heart and um, in my ears to all different kinds of creative places to go. In fact, so much I used it all over my new album, um, The Way I Like It. And uh, I encourage you to check out the album, but here's, here's what this thing's capable of. Now, of course, it, it, it's capable of making these beautiful kind of um, guitar-esque kind of sounds. Like Kiss because uh... thing that I call quacking quack quack you know using uh, dead notes or grace notes or ghost notes or whatever you want to call them on a dual string instrument it gives it this great quacking um, sound and percussive rhythmic thing so quacking thing going on. Now another thing you can do with it, well first of all it's a six string bass with octave strings. It's a streamer stage one broad neck six string bass with octave strings on it. Essentially that's what it is. So it's tuned B E A D C or B E A D G C. <laughs> now another cool thing that you could do with it is for the whole first part so far I've been playing the strings simultaneously. So for every stroke I'm hitting two strings on the on the same pitch. Now another thing that you can do is you can play the strings individually. Baka baka baka. starting it sounds like a guitar now another thing you can do is you can do that same technique doing the individual plucking you can do it with harmonics right that's pretty cool 
roll too. is play it just like a regular old bass, you know? Uh, uh, you can slap it. Slap the hell out of this bass. Once I get nice and warmed up, I can do, you know. I like to do with the slapping style. Now another thing that's real cool is just grooving in the low register. It has this great um, timber timbre to it. it. It's a voice that's all its own. And people sometimes make comments on my videos and stuff and they say, well, why don't I, I could just use an octave pedal? It's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. It's not even in the same conversation. This is a, this is a unique voice that's, a, that's the result of um, the strings uh, resonating together and having the strings there. And um, you, know, you can't just use an electronic uh, gadget to get the same thing. You could use an octave pedal and get something that's similar, but it's not the same thing. No way. Mm -hmm. 